Um, alright you guys, I am going to show you how to make a good slideshow using Windows Movie Maker. So first what you gotta wanna do is open it up. And then you're gonna wanna go to import pictures. That's what I always do first. Um, I don't know if it's the same for you. So that's where you're gonna go first. And then like whatever folder you saved it under, you're gonna look for that and then open that folder. And you gotta you get, remember you gotta double click on it. And then you find your pics on there. And what you can do to select all of them is um, go to the corner and then slide your mouse, hold it, hold the right, uh, left click down, um, and then, whoops, yeah, do that, and then scroll all the way down, and then you're gonna import import like all the the pics that you just selected. But I don't have to do that because I already did. And it's the same with uh, audio and music. Um, just depending on what like folder your music is under, like mine's under Creed. Um, you're gonna want to go want to go under that, and then you just go under their album, and then you um, import the songs. Uh, and you can like select all of them by doing the same thing you did with the pictures. But I don't have to do that, so yeah. And uh, first, I'm going to show you what, um, but well, yeah, videos are the same too, but first I'm going to show you what effects are. Um, yeah, you have really a lot of different effects that you just can put on top of slides, and they'll make the, it's like kind of like transition, if you know what that means, but it stays, especially edge detection. Edge detection is annoying. I never put that on there because it never, it never ch changes. It doesn't go back. But you have a whole different set of them. And then you go to transitions. And transitions are basically exactly what they're um, called. It's, it's a type of transition to another slide. Mm, I guess I can't put any on there. So yeah, basically, like transitions are just different types of uh, ways to switch to another slide. And title and credits basically speak for themselves. So, just wait for my computer to load. Okay, there we go. If you want, you can go to a title at the beginning, but I usually just put one at the um, on the beginning clip because it's a lot, or not clip, but picture because it's easier that way. So, it just it, it you don't you can do whatever you really feel like doing. I just, I have my ways. And then you go to, I'm going to put, I'm going to show you an example. Um, yeah, I got to, I'm going to show you an example of transition, sorry. Uh, you got to put two clips right next to each other. Sorry, sometimes my thing doesn't like to work. Um, you got to put two of them next to each other. And select any transition you want, and put them in the box in between. God damn it! Um, in between the two pictures, and watch. So yeah, that's what happens basically. Um. Uh, do 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 do. And publishing really is is just. Um. Hold on a second. Publishing, it publishing um, is just uh, just making it into a real movie so that you can watch on the Windows Media Player. De well, it depends on what operating system you have, but doing it to a DVD is just putting it on a disc, 
and being able to watch it on the DVD and then putting it on a recordable CD is just if you have it on all music and email it can and the digital video camera speak for themselves but the view you can change and the tools you can narrate it um uh, do, 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 do. and the audio um levels is just if you want it to like get more music out of it you do that um you put it towards the music but if you want more uh um more sound from your video you just put it towards the video And then play speaks for itself. Clip, not that much to, uh, to do. Um, help is just help, which I incredibly need at this point. So yeah, um, I hope this video was educational, as most of my wonderful videos are, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to.